Hello YouTube, thought we'd do a quick video here. Um, today's video is going to be how to check your SWR on your duplexer. Now, if you have a repeater and you have one antenna, then you're going to have a duplexer. So if you do not have a repeater, then this video will not apply to you. But if you're going to have a repeater, you want to build a repeater, you want to use two mobile radios and one antenna, then you're going to need a duplexer. And that being the case, you've got to make sure your duplexer has low SWRs. Otherwise, you could damage that radio. So uh, how a duplexer works is the low side is the transmit side. The high side is the receive side. And then the middle is the antenna. Or in this case, I have it hooked up to a dummy load. So when you key up on a repeater, it's the low side that's actually going to be transmitting out. So this is the side that we got to check for SWR. Whatever's going to be hooked to this side, this is the SWR is going to see. Now, in this case, I have the, the as you see on your screen here, I have the nano software program. The frequency, the low side on here is 462.550. So if you look on the screen here, my SWR on the low side is actually 1.2. So that is very well acceptable. So that's no problem there. Like I said, if this SWR is high, then whatever you are hooking up to this low port could get damaged. So you want to kind of always check the SWR and the high side never transmits that's just receive so we don't got to worry about that but um, you can use if you don't have access to a nano VNA you can use your meter however keep in mind the accuracy of your meter I've done videos on this and this meter is not as accurate this is the Surecom SW33 plus I've done a lot of videos on this it's not as accurate as the nano VNA but if you only have this then what you could do is you would take the low side this in this case I'd unhook this cable hook it to the antenna on the meter and then the transmit of the meter would go to the radio whether it's the mobile radio whether it's a handheld or whatever you're using, that's how you would hook this up. Then, of course, you should really have a dummy load hooked up just to, uh, you know, make sure you get an accurate SWR of this duplexer. So that's how you want to check the uh, duplexer SWR. Now, if you're wondering, well, what happens if you flip these two around? Let's say I put the low on here and I put the an antenna the dummy load on the low well it's it's still going to give you an SWR and there is a slight difference and I'm going to show you here right here as you can see we're getting well it's 1 1.1.220 at the time I when I typed this up it was 1.216 but you'll get the point um, when I flipped it around when I flipped it, let's move this over. When I flipped it, and I put the, this on the antenna, and I put the dummy load on here, then my SWRs went to 1.183. You're only talking a difference of 0 0.033. So you're not talking a huge difference. But the correct way to hook this up would be the way you see it now because remember whatever you're hooking up to this is going to feed into the duplexer so um, so that's how this should be hooked up I'm feeding the signals coming from the nano going through the cable being in feeding into as if this was be as if this was a mobile radio or a handheld this is how you would hook it up when you were going to use the uh, duplexer, this is how you should test it also. 
hopefully that makes sense so that's how you go ahead and test a duplexer for SWRs so if you have any questions or comments please post them down below and please subscribe thank you and have a good day